Welcome back everybody to Sniper Elite 5 Solo Survival Guide. Today we are doing the second map, Prime Real Estate. I don't know why it's called that. The whole town's blown up. But we are doing it. I will walk you through it. And after this video, you will know how to navigate through this entire map. I want to show you what it's like on hard mode so you can feel more comfortable starting off on whatever difficulty you want. I am going with the Model 1903 because I want to do it with a bolt action rifle because this is probably the one you're going to be starting off with if you haven't played campaign, if you haven't played multiplayer if you haven't played anything say you're doing survival as your first game mode i want to show you what it's going to be like with the model 1903 because that's the one of the rifles that will be accessible to you i'm go also going with the tommy gun classic tommy gun it's good for crowd control and there's going to be a lot of crowds coming at us and then the classic model 1911 iconic gun known th every video game that's a shooter has its own variation of it don't quote me on that i'm right now i do have all my skills unlocked and you'll most likely if you're starting off on survival won't have any of these so just keep that in mind there's no really any way to reverse this but other than that your experience shouldn't be that much different so let's get into it so for my prep what i like to do is i like to gather all the traps that i possibly can from the command posts and set them in various strategic locations. So given the fact that this command post is on this formation map, there's different operational formations where the command posts are set up in different locations across the map. We're on the most common one, the one you'll probably be playing on if you're a new player. So we're next to these roads, and I have some teller mines which are good for taking out vehicles. Now usually I like to place it right here, but... I can't risk them stopping right here, so I'm just going to put it right here. I have had experiences where vehicles have stopped right in this spot rather than coming all the way over here. So I just can't risk that. And then we got shoe mines for more closed off areas, more closed in areas like this little entrance here, this little corridor, and this window over here. I was pressing E. I meant to press F. The button to press is F. I hear a vehicle already, I think. Did it come over the bridge? Yeah, it's a motorcycle. Also, be sure to set traps over that bridge, because that's also where they like to come from a lot. Okay, I don't know why they just threw a motorcycle at me, but it's uh, it's alright. I, uh, I forgive them. There will be more to come. Alright, so these guys are coming across the bridge. I'm going to get to a higher position so I can see more of them, because... They can see me, but I can't see them. That's always the thing to remember. No matter who you're fighting, whether it be players or AI, just remember they can most likely see you before you could see them. That's that's a rule I've gone by in gaming a lot. But anyways, I tried doing a recording. I did a whole thing of this. I did a whole other recording session of this map. I had it all done. And everything except some of my footage didn't capture so I didn't have all the footage I needed to walk through the entire hour of gameplay cuz that's how often my gameplay sessions last is usually for an hour because there's four command posts to get through each of them has like three or four rounds and that guy just threw a grenade at me better get out Our command post is looking vulnerable to okay attack. so what that okay he got me let me heal up real quick now be wary of this. If you don't have your perks unlocked, you're only going to have four bars of health. Well, well, I have six. That's because I upgraded all my perks. Okay, they're getting me good here. Alright. So it's important to keep them out of the command post. Because not only does it improve your score, which you can see up top at, at the top of my screen here. But also, the command posts don't contest like they would in other games. If... If a German and you are standing in the command post, it will automatically give it to the Germans. It will not contest in your favor or in the Germans' favor. It will automatically give the soldiers free reign to take the command post. So, kill them as quick as you can. Okay, don't know what happened there, but... Alright, we ended the round. That's good. More to come. Gonna be a lot tougher. So, we have a lot of... We have a lot of open space to work with here. That's both to our benefit and our detriment. Because there's also some buildings that they can hide in. But really, it's just how you use your environment. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that bridge, since they like to come on the bridge a lot. They like to drive across this bridge. There's going to be tanks coming across this thing. There's going to be trucks, armored vehicles. This bridge is a very good choke point. And if you're sitting here wondering why I take this so seriously, I take this very seriously because I'm passionate about it. And I like the fact that I can help out new players that probably won't be as good in survival. And... You could be asking yourself, why do I make survival videos at all? I don't do it that often. This is only my second one. But, you know, with Sniper Elite 5, you have, like, your campaign and you have your invasion mode. The big attention is on invasion mode. A lot of people are watching invasion mode videos. Oh, here comes a truck. Is it going to blow up? What? Did it miss the trap? Maybe, maybe it, tra maybe it missed. Maybe it missed the trap. But... A lot of people are watching invasion mode and I don't think a lot of attention is really given to the survival mode because a lot of people don't really see why survival needs attention. Survival is a, a mode just like any other in the game and I think it's important to shed light on it. And I don't really see a lot of people doing that so I'm just like I'll take the opportunity I'll show you the ropes no big deal. Okay. You! Where did I get him? Oh my god, the shoulder! I try to... Okay, I'm about to die. I'm dead. Oh, you had to throw a rocket at me for special effect, huh? Now, I'm not pinning a rule on myself of no deaths. Because this map is hard. And I'm about to die. I'm dead. Okay. So, we're going to redo that. It's fine. I wasn't paying a lot of attention. I get it. Show you the ropes. No big deal. Is that a Star Wars reference, or are you just messing with me? So, we're going to reset our traps. We're going to gather up everything we need once again. And we're just going to pretend like nothing happened. That's probably not going to hit anyone, but I don't have real, really any time to move it. Now, you do also have TNT blocks, but you have to shoot them or activate them in some way for them to go off. Or you could put them on a timer, and there's no real way for me to take advantage of it unless they're right on top of me. The first time it was a motorcycle, it's a motorcycle, and he missed the trap. That's okay. I would rather the truck hit the trap anyway. I don't want to waste a teller mine on a motorcycle. That would just be stupid. Hey, driver, die. Yeah, you can't steer that. Oh, I got them both. That's great. Okay. That's a double kill right there. So I got someone on my last video who asked a question. Thank you for the question, by the way. He asked if, depending on which difficulty you play on, will affect your score in the long run. And from what I've tested, and I even answered him back, and I said, from what I tested, it doesn't appear to be the case. I played on medium and hard difficulties. I did not try authentic. I will not subject myself to that kind of punishment yet. I'm open to it, just not right now. But it seems like the score is always the same, depending on how you play. So you can see in my right side corner here, on the bottom, that I'm getting certain points for certain things like a stomach shot is 160 points but it has all these little tags onto it whether it's like an smg kill or a pistol kill which type of enemy you killed oh i completed the wave great uh no in cap 700 points for that i think you get a thousand points if you don't get injured at all like nobody shoots you and there's no breach on the command post, so it's a better starting wave overall compared to what we just saw. So let me get down. Okay, I wanted to get down. You're welcome to any time. Thank you. Now, this map is actually different from the last map in which... Actually, no, it's actually the same. In the later stages, they'll be sending MG42 guys after me and Jaeger troops. Jaeger troops are more armored German soldiers. And some of them will be carrying MG42s in the late, late stages of the rounds. However, I am not very knowledgeable on if difficulty affects which enemy types are thrown at you. I would think so. And on hard mode, you still have your alt ability. Okay, there's a truck of angry German men coming after me. I need to do something. Uh, grenade from the window, maybe. Maybe that'll work. There you go, buddies. Oh, they, oh, they saw that. Oh, come on. I didn't hit anybody there. There's four guys there. 
Okay, they all went behind the wall, which is good for me. I can see them. I have a direct line of sight of all of them. But they're going to start moving around, getting cover. And they're going to suppress me with a bunch of MG... Not MGs, freaking MP40s. They're going to start suppressing me with their submachine guns. But I took all of them out in rapid succession, so we're fine. Last guy, got a kill cam on him. Went through his helmet, into his head, down his stomach. I mean, not the stomach, the freaking trachea or windpipe, whatever you want to call it. Get off my lawn! Where's he at? What do you think you're doing? Oh, that was a no-scope. Awesome. Alright, thank you. Thank you for revealing your location. I don't know if that was a Gewer or a Car 98K. If it was a Car 98, you're not allowed to freaking pop off a second shot without cocking it. Which makes me think that guy had a gear. Okay, <laughs> that was a good kill from the trap. Missed him. Okay, things are getting heated. Freaking enemies are running all over the place. I'm starting to freaking cough up the McDonald's I ate. Freaking burping and stuff. Not a good feeling. Hate it. All right, he has a Panzerfaust that he can use to absolutely rape me with. Ah, that was almost. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. All right, wave two, wave two complete. All right, we're already halfway through the first command post. All right, we have snipers now. So this is a sniper round. So a sniper round is on every command post, and basically, when you see that little glow, it means there's a sniper there, if you haven't guessed that already. Also, these snipers in survival mode will give you the bleed mechanic, which is when they shoot you, you will automatically start bleeding and losing health. So, try not to get shot by these guys. They are deadly. And it's not like you can go to a place somewhere else and just lose sight of them. You can, but it's very difficult. Usually, I like to take the snipers out first, but these guys are going to prevent me from doing that. Alright, where did I hit this gentleman? Where did I hit this fine lucky boy? Ah, stomach shot! Oh, that's gross. I didn't want to see your intestines. That's not very good. And now he's falling on his side. Not sure that's how physics works. But that's fine. I still see you. Your helmet won't protect you this time. Alright. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. There you go. Give it to me, babe. Sniper still over there. There's usually a second sniper, too. Maybe not on this first round, but... Every round after this, there's usually a second one. There's a tank over there. Oh, they sent the tank too. Great. He's usually not there. Usually he's on the bridge. So this is a first for me. He's actually coming over the river off to the side rather than going over the bridge. That's very strange. Okay. How you doing, gentlemen? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Could be better, though. I could have you not being here. Oh my gosh. Alright. Okay. Now there is also medals and ribbons you can earn in survival. Which kind of also makes me think that the points you get aren't based on what difficulty you play on. Otherwise, the medals would kind of specify what difficulty you should be playing on to earn those medals. But the medals are actually pretty vague. Except it's just they just say... Uh, earn up to a hundred thousand points on your survival score. That's pretty much it. You know, medals like that. It's not like they say, earn a hundred thousand on hard difficulty or on authentic difficulty. They just don't do that. All right, I'm gonna take this guy out with a grenade. Actually, okay, he's gonna run across the street, but I'm still gonna throw it anyway. I like to take risks like that. Oh wait, I got him. Great. Okay. And the sniper got me. And all I have to heal myself is a freaking med kit which heals all my health. So get away from the sniper. Watch those corners for other enemies. Like that. Like that. Very much like that. Almost verbatim with what I said. Okay. So you can see my enemy count is four now. So that's counting the three in the tank and the one sniper. Okay, he missed that shot. Great. The wall blocked me. Kind of frustrating. 
But we re rearrange ourselves, we realign, and we go for another pass. Try not to take too long on the shot. And we got him. And luckily, he was the only one we had to deal with. Oh, that's a good cinematic shot, though. Brain goes squish. That's something I just like to say, brain goes squish. So now we have two ways we can kill this tank. We can either go with Satchel Charge or Panzerfaust. Panzerfaust is more practical from faraway locations. The Satchel Charge is kind of hard to get up to them real close. But they've actually repositioned now and pretty much gave me the opportunity to do this. The best way to take out vehicles is to, whatever gun you're using, it doesn't matter which, is to switch it to armor-piercing ammo. If you don't have armor-piercing ammo, there should be some in the crates at the command post. So when they're here, I like to go like this because they can't shoot their cannon and kill me. See? He just missed me as I was talking. Out of, out of that ammo, I guess. It's okay. I got the sniper ammo. Alright, there we go. First round complete. First, first command post complete. That was like three rounds in one command post, and that's usually how it is for each one. The last command post is the most excruciating one. So now we're at command post Bravo. We're near this fancy church, and that's going to be very advantageous for us later on. So now we have more buildings to hide in, more places to create choke points at, and we should all be hunky-dory. So it doesn't really matter what command post you're at. The directions the directions will always be the same. They'll always come from... I mean, you got three directions to choose from. You got to get one of them, right? Right? But a lot of them always come over the bridge anyway. But not all the time. Sometimes around this corner on this road, they'll, they'll show up on... I'm going to loot some guys to get some more traps. Okay, somebody sees me. They're coming over the... They're coming over the freaking field right there thank god that alerted me because i wouldn't have known otherwise all right we're gonna switch from armor piercing we're gonna save those bullets and we're gonna take some pot shots at them okay so they actually came in a jeep all right that guy i just killed you i don't think you could really see it but that guy was a spotter usually a spotter is the one with the goggles and the face mask oh my god that's such a good shot i like that Nice and quick, too. Okay, I'm going to start, like, cutting these short because it sort of slows down the pacing a little bit. Why did you survive that? You should be dead from that. Ugh, oh, intestine shot. I can't look at that, actually. <laughs> kind of makes me sick a little bit. Ah, oh, you bastard! Stop that! Where is the rest of your friends? There's seven left. Okay, so they're all, all coming from this end. Hey, where are you going? No, no, no. You can't just sneak by like that. You can't, you can't just do that. There's rules. Listen, let's just talk about this over a beer, okay? Okay, that's a two for one right there. What did I hit? Something made him go flying. Oh, there's a spotter right here. Oh, yeah, the spotters. I forgot. So what the spotters actually do is, if they're far away enough from you, they have a flare gun that will call down an artillery barrage on your exact position. So, you have to either kill them before they do that or avoid it when it happens. But the good thing is, you can also use the artillery strike. It's not going to be impossible to get it. All you gotta do is kill him. I think either you can just get it off his person when you search his body or whatever. Or you have to wait till he pulls it out and kill him while he has it pulled out to actually get it. I haven't tested it enough to really confirm that theory. Other people can most definitely confirm that theory. I cannot confirm that theory. That's a nice gut shot for you. Where are you going, friend? Where are you going? I sneak up behind you. <laughs> There's no reason why you shouldn't have heard me, dude. I was very loud. I'm very loud. I'm just loud as a person. When I do get to talking, I'm loud as a person. Okay, so there's actually two snipers right next to each other. That guy didn't even seem to hit me, but I'm still bleeding. So it'll always register it as a hit. Take out the one. Yeah, they're always in the same spots. They'll always be in the same spots. So the good news is you can recognize the map locations and get them out. 
other troops are gaining on my position. There we go. Holy crap. I was hoping that would go through his scope, but that's okay. Kill's a kill. Alright, these guys are moving in on me. Where are they at? Yeah, they like to hang out at that church a lot, so just make a note of that. Got you. That's a Panther Faust! Get him! Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Please tell me that that was a double kill. That was so nice. That was so clean, dude. I gotta, I gotta pay attention or I'm gonna die again. And God, I don't want that. Holy crap. All right, where's everybody at here? We got 10 enemies left. They're all across from me, I think. I think, anyway. I see you. <laughs> oh, he's got a, he's got a gewer or a gewehr. I'm American, I swear. Where are you going? How did I miss? I had him. Dead to rights, I had him. Thank you for your cooperation in dying. Alright, he can see me through that little hole there. Little glory hole. Uh, you'll get there first! <laughs> Alright. So when it comes down to five enemies like this, it'll always outline them for you, which is a very good thing. And you can just pick off the rest of the stragglers. Alright, two left. Okay, so there's actually an armored vehicle I didn't know about. That's where the remaining two are. Yeah, it's the same deal with the armored vehicle as it is with the tank. You just gotta snipe through this little hole here where the engine is. And usually it takes two armor piercing rounds to take these guys out. So that's the one. And thank you very much, that's the two. Sometimes I like to get creative with hiding locations even though they're AI and I like to blend the shoe mines in with the rocks down here. And over here also. Okay, come on now. Ah, oh, no! Oh, thank you. Where, behind the truck? Guy's up in the church with a rocket launcher. Okay, I can't get overzealous. I can't get overzealous here, okay? If I get overzealous and go charging in, that's what they're going to want from me. They're taking a command post. It's fine. We can, we can afford to wait. We can afford to wait. Who's the last guy? Okay. Now, it's not... Now, it's not a total loss if they gain the command post. You're just not going to be able to get any more traps and stuff and supplies from that command post. There's a Panzerfaust! Oh, my God! That's a tank! Oh, my God! All right, what do I do about the tank now? If he's going to be strafing me back and forth. All right, wait. And this guy shooting Panzerfausts at me. All right, heal up first. That's the first thing we're going to do is heal up behind cover, okay? We still have a control on the situation. They haven't taken us yet. It does help that they actually get scared by, by your bullets. So we have three guys left in the tank and three guys left out of the tank. There's one. He missed his shot, luckily enough. The last two are out on the street at the church and stuff. All right, he's he's down. He's down. Get rid of the tank. Get a Panzerfaust. Get something. Okay, good. He set one of my traps off. That means he's stationary now. He cannot move. I, I heard the noises. His axles on his tracks fell off. His, wheel, his wheels are now damaged. He can't go anywhere. So we're, we're all good there. We're all good there. Oh! Stage 2 complete. Moving right along. The third command post actually takes place right here in the back of the church. The church is a, uh, is a hot spot. A freaking hot spot for action. But you're also more out on the open. 
Actually, I think it's the same level, but this command post actually gives you MG42s. This is the only command post in this operation, in this map, that gives you MG42s to start with. So what I like to do is I like to carry an MG42 up to the church with me and just survey the area. But I don't use it until they get, like, super close. And actually, you're going to have to navigate this church pretty carefully, because right here, you got to sprint jump like quickly over this and you don't have a lot of room to do the sprint jump with so i hear a vehicle here he comes that's a jeep all right let's take him out right now is that gonna be a double kill please let there be a double kill please let there be a double kill no i think it's just gonna be the one oh wait i it was a double kill there's also a bunch of Jaeger troops in that Jeep, which is this guy I'm aiming at right now. The one in the camouflage. He has the heavier armor. Oh, they're already upstairs. They're already up here. They're already entering on this side. What did I blow up? Is that a freaking grenade? Did I blow up the grenade on his belt? I must have. I must have got a grenade shot. Come on, show me your face. Thank you. Alright. How'd you get here? Never mind. Alright. That could have been bad. I could have fell right there. But it's fine. I'm just using my alt ability to see where they're coming from. Oh, God. Okay, I fell there. That's bad. Gotta kill this guy. Quick. Okay. Okay. Alright, I can still I, I still have hope, I can still heal, but he's gonna shoot me while I'm down, which is a very bad thing. It's a very bad thing. Okay, luckily that was an officer, so he couldn't do too much damage to me. He only had a pistol. Oh, these guys are strategic, man. They're more they're more strategic than they usually are. Or maybe I'm just being clumsy is all. He's trying to make for the door! Yeah, no, but you weren't getting away. That guy had two teller mines on him. That's pretty lucky, actually. Yeah, searching the bodies is also very beneficial. They will have a lot of traps on them. So when you do run out of traps for your command post, there's always the German soldiers. Sniper, sniper. All right, he didn't even shoot me, but I'm, I guess I'm bleeding. Screw you, buddy. You're cheating. That's right. Where's your friend? Oh, here come the MG42 guys. That's a lot of them. Oh, what's that? Three of them. Crap. Okay. If I could just take them all out right there, I'll have a prime source for my machine gun needs. Drop yours. All right. Took them all out. Here comes a vehicle, I think. Yep, machine gun. Machine gun motorcycle. We're getting rid of them in a pretty good order. This guy's trying to no-clip me through the wall. <laughs> Alright, reloading. I hit him, but I didn't kill him somehow. Okay, the other sniper's in the windmill. Which is over here. All right, clean shot. That's a clean shot. That's a clean shot right there. A little bit above the scope. All right, the remaining five guys are all sort of in front of me here. That guy was injured. He couldn't do much anyways. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So I was about to try and melee attack him. You cannot melee the Jaeger troops and get away with it. They will fight back. They will block and parry you at every turn. Every time you try to stab them with something, it's better to just shoot them. But this guy, I could stab to my heart's content. In the heart? Yes, in the heart. Where did I leave my MG? I don't know where I left it. Crap, did I leave it on the other side? I think I dropped it somewhere. I didn't use it. I didn't use it yet. 
Dude, I don't know where my MG went. Did it despawn? I don't know if they can do that or not. Usually when I needed them, they were here. But I'm just gonna go grab another one. Luckily, there's one sitting on this table right over here. It's not a table. It's like a gravestone or something. So yeah, an M every MG42 gives you 100 rounds. And in first person, the thing can be pretty dang accurate sometimes. Alright, how close are they to me? They're pretty close. I, w I, w I would say they're pretty close. Alright. Good, good. Yeah, it's good to get them out in the open like that when you have an MG. Alright, they're in the church tower. There's also some in the street. He's dead. Good, good deal. How did I get a headshot like that? I, I don't care. I'm taking it. I'm just saying. There you go. You're welcome to come on out and die too, which you have. Not even going to save that last bullet. There's no point. All right. Now we have the armored vehicle. Rinse and repeat. Grenades also help open up the engine block a little bit. So we're going to re-equip our armor piercing ammo and shoot through the thing. Aw, oh, come on. What are you talking about? Okay, there we go. I couldn't see I couldn't see the hole for a second. Okay, so now we're moving on to this last command post. This last command post is dangerous. Do not stay here. Okay, there is cover that you can utilize sometimes, but this command post is dangerous. Get your traps, set them inside the post, and then run somewhere else. Go to the church, go somewhere else. This place is not safe. I'm going to take one of these Panzerfausts with me. Yeah, I've tried over and over again surviving in this place. Other people can probably do it. I can't. I'm running for the church, and I'm going to take up shelter up there. Because from the church, you have full visibility of the command post still. So whoever's in the command post, you can just snipe out of the command post. Like they're about to do to me. Where are you going? You're not going anywhere. I won't let you. Stomach shots. That's my specialty. I gotta stop my bleeding. But I'm also trying to stop as many of them from coming here as possible. How many are left? Okay, up there. They're gonna get shots on me eventually. I gotta, I gotta hide behind this crate and just heal up. It's better to just do that. A lot of times they'll be drawn more to you than they'll be drawn to the command post. So it actually helps in this case to be away from it. That is a beautiful eye shot. All right, where's the last enemy? Oh, it's a sniper. Okay, it's a sniper. I can get him through this window, actually. And he can get me through the window. Come on, just give me the shot. Give me the shot. Give me the shot! Oh, he ran. Of course he runs. Get! Get! Get penetrated! Yeah! Now, I don't think if they... I don't think they do multiple sniper rounds in one command post. So I think... Given the fact that that was our sniper round, I think we're safe after that. It's just going to be a tank round now. It's going to be the normal rounds and a tank round. Sometimes the alt ability doesn't always work. Like, you can hear the footsteps. It's just going off of the sound, really. That's going to help you. Like, even that. That guy's a suppressed gun, but you're still able to pinpoint where he is, even without the alt ability. He thinks I'm right there. He's pretty much shooting at nothing. Can I lob a grenade over this? No, it's going to stay right there for some reason. And hurt me. Jerk. Oh, no, you don't. I saw that. Oh, that's a good quick... I knocked my microphone over. I knocked, I knocked, I knocked my microphone over. Holy crap. That's going to cost me the run right there. That cost me the run! Oh! <laughs> oh man i am mad okay so it's giving me two options here restart the whole match over which i'm definitely not going to do or i'm going to restart the last stage which is definitely going to be the last stage but it was like the second to last round man 
I had used up all my bandages and my med kits. Holy frick. I know this is a survival guide, but it's also sort of a let's play walkthrough. That's kind of what I've bolstered it as. And I had, I had traps already set from the previous rounds. Those don't exist anymore. When you restart like this, those traps are gone. Here they come again. It's not like a save point. It's a redo. So it resets everything. Even though you're still on this command post, it's good. It's totally different now. The whole dynamic has changed. Now I know I know what this is going to do to me now. This is going to mess up my flow. It's going to mess up my my timing's going to be off. Uh freaking they're all grouped up there. I got a double kill with that Panzerfaust. That's great. Hey, bud, how's it going? Welcome to the party. Glad to have you. Can you die, please? Thank you. Oh, let's just invite everybody. Why not? Uh, oh, God! Who else is coming up? I demand to know. Alright, buddy, you're next. I'm just gonna melee this guy. I'm gonna melee him when he comes around. I could waste the... Oh, what are you doing? Holy crap, dude. I'm just gonna camp this door, I guess. That guy's got an MG. I want that. Coming up. He's holding on the stairs. Okay, they're all gonna charge me. Come on, you got machine guns. You can take me. Come on. What, are you scared? Come on, don't be scared. I'm actually a nice guy when you get to know me. Psych. I'm not nice at all. I hate you. It's good that we have this. You almost cost me the round. Your friend almost cost me the round by me shooting his grenade. Hope you're happy. They're all at the command post. Are you kidding me? Of course they're all there. It's kind of the point. But they're not going for it, which is weird. Good, they know about me now. Okay, I'm going to sprint jump across this and get the rest of them. They're being weird. Alright, where's the last one? He's running. Alright! Alright, we're going to go up top now. We're going to sort of leave the MG42 in a safe spot so we have time to run to it. Oh, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them over there. But if I can snipe them from all the way over here and cut down their numbers a little bit, that'll be great. Right in the water you go. Alright, I missed him, so he's going to get away. He decided to hold position. What an idiot, but thank you. But I, I gotta check the other side. I can't wait for them to come around. I gotta check the other side. Oh, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them, dude. It'd be wise to get the MG42 now, but I'm gonna wait. Take out who I can first, and then I'll retreat. And then I'll run away like a little girl. It's like, it's like the battle from Saving Private Ryan, that final battle, where uh, they meet up with Ryan and they got to defend the French town. This is that exact scene, except I'm just one man. This is that exact scene recreated. I'm going to take his car 98 and take the ammo out of it. All right. I'm getting the freaking MG. I need to use the thing. They are coming up here. <laughs> that guy 
just got molly whopped. He just got a big surprise. All right, no, no, and uh, no. Thank you very much. All right, that guy, that guy got away from me. He's dead. 12 enemies left. I can, I, I'm, I'm almost there, guys. I'm almost there. We, we are almost there. You blended in with the rocks for a second. Don't try to make for the stairs. Don't try to make for the stairs. You don't do that. You don't do that here. Oh, maybe I should th throw a grenade right now. Here, take that. It probably wasn't a great idea. Oh, I'm getting cocky now. Every time I get to this point, I get cocky. And then I make stupid mess-ups like that that kill me. He had a Panzerfaust. That's fine. I'll be able to use that for the tank. The tank's out on the street somewhere. And I got three guys remaining. Well, the three guys are in the tank. And there's other three guys outside the tank. Just couldn't see him. I just couldn't see him. Aw, oh, come on. This is like the final shot before I have to take down the tank. Stop moving! So annoying! Thank you for dying! I thought I saw a Panzerfaust here somewhere. Oh yeah, it's buried in the bodies. Yeah, I see it now. I got it. Ah, oh, I even timed it and everything. Okay. Might have to go get another one or get a satchel charge and go right up to him and say, Hey, how you doing? Can I blow you up? I gotta, gotta make for the command post. And get one of the Panzer Fausts there. Okay, he hit me, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. At least with the tank, I actually have cover because he's behind a building and he can't navigate around it. Better take a med kit in case he downs me, you never know. Alright, it's come down to this. It's come down to this. It's the final countdown. Just shoot the engine. It's right there. It's, oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. So much for the <laughs> that was a good line. <laughs> Took a couple tries, but we did it. Okay? That is how you navigate Mission 2 Prime Real Estate in hard survival mode in Sniper Elite 5. I hope you found this video helpful. It was a gameplay walkthrough. Not very organized tip video, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways. I I feel so relieved actually being able to show you guys this now. I, I know to some people it's not a big achievement. Like there's players and YouTubers out there who can just do this ten times over. But it's like, you know, it's a, it's an, a personal ach achievement for me. You know, I've done it multiple times at this point. But, you know, this is for you new players. This is for you new players to be able to do. That's why I'm doing it. I'm able to show you how to strategize and what strategies to use to be able to do this for freshly new players to the game. And that's that's sort of exciting in a way to be able to show that. But hope you enjoyed. I'll be doing one on the third and final map. And I hope you stay safe out there and take care. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.